with another video tutorial about how to use JSketcher. JSketcher is a project that you can find on GitHub and it's for a 3D parametric modeler that is 100% written in JavaScript. Right now I have the, uh, the demo loaded up in this tab. So this demo is a part that's already been created and it already has a whole bunch of parameters and stuff built into it. And I'm going to show you how to edit previously uh, built features. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go and click on, let's just say, this cut here. So that cut is uh, the cut that's making those holes there. Now what I can do is at any point in time I can adjust the values on this. So let's just change this to something like 25. And that's going to change the depth of that cut. So if you think that that was pretty cool because that was the last feature that was created, I can go all the way back to the first feature that was created which was the initial uh, extrude and I could change that, or the values on that to something like, uh, let's just say, uh, 75. Or even more. I could make that much longer. Now, since I edited a feature that was at the very beginning, it's going to uh, step me through the rest of the features here as they're getting created. Now, you'll notice that it still kept all of the features on the surfaces that they were created on. Like this pad here was created on that surface. And that surface moved when I updated this, uh, this pad, uh, the, the first feature. So if I, if I go and I adjust that again and hit OK, it's going to step me through the model history here and um, allow me to modify all those parameters. Now, I can also go into the first feature here, if I go into this pad, and if I go to Edit Sketch, it will allow me to go back into the sketch for that and update it. So, in this particular case, if I go and I click and I drag on something, I can adjust it. And if I come over here and I hit Save, and I go back over to the 3D view, and hit OK. It's going to go and update that. <clears throat> and if I hit OK, 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 it updates the rest of the features. Now, right here, see how these guys are no longer linked to those center points? I can simply click on that particular uh, feature. I can go to Edit Sketch, and I can go and adjust this. Now, notice how when I click on a piece of that geometry, how it automatically re-updated and uh, it re-resolved the sketch. So, now that it's re-resolved, I'm going to go and hit save and go back over to the 3D view and just go to, if I actually hit finish history editing, it'll go through all the features and update the entire part right there so there you go you can see how that happened um, again if I wanted to go and update like let's just say these holes if I go and I click on that feature I can adjust the depth here or I can go back into the sketch and update the sketch you can see how these holes were originally at the center points if I just simply go and I touch or if I go and I move any piece of this it goes and it re-resolves the sketch and it relinked those those uh, the center points there and as soon as I go and I hit save and I go back over to the 3d viewer I can hit OK and you can see how it updated so right there you can see how you're able to update a, uh, a part and uh, you can go back in and edit the features and edit their 2D geometry on the fly. Okay, well thanks for watching. 